Good morning internet, it is 7 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this absolute slice of paradise here in the Central African Republic. And today I'm gonna do something else really really exciting. Because besides the forest elephants that call this their home, there are also gorillas living in the wild here. And there are two species of gorillas the western gorillas and the eastern gorillas. And each of those species have two subspecies. And the gorillas that live in this area are the western lowland gorillas. And 11 years ago, I was in Uganda and there I saw the mountain gorillas, which are a subspecies of the eastern gorillas. So if I managed to see the gorillas today here, then I would have seen both species of gorillas so I'm super excited now of course they're wild animals so you never know if you're gonna see them with the elephants they know the elephants come there every single day so it's guaranteed that you'll see the forest elephants at the Tsangabai but for the gorillas of course it's a different story and they're moving around all the time I'm going with um, a tracker a really good tracker he's um, Baaka which is a pygmy tribe and so they know the forest and they are really, really amazing trackers. He was also there with me uh, to get to the elephants um, and he should be here today as well. So I am super excited, so let's go. So today I'm going with a different vehicle. Now, of course, I can't take Alaska into the park and that's not allowed. Well, I think mostly because there are elephants, so motorcycles uh, are not allowed inside. But this vehicle should make it <laughs> and uh, Alaska Alaska will just stay over there. This tree is a problem. There's some mud here. It's a very tight spot here and there's a big mount of mud right there. Not bad. You're almost there. Put, put the big, also to put the big stump behind the tires. So we don't roll back. Yeah. yeah. Yes! Right, so we made it. From now on, we're gonna be walking. Look, this is how gorilla skulls look like. So the big ones are male, and the smaller ones are females. Look at the teeth. So from here, we're gonna start tracking but it will be about an hour and a half walking uh, before we reach the group of gorillas that we're gonna search for. And of course, the elephants, the forest elephants are all around here as well. So on the hike there, we have to be super quiet and careful because encountering elephants is, is probable, so.
So the silverback male that we saw, his name is Makumba, and he's quite already an older male. Um, I understand that he's somewhere in his 40s already. What a beautiful, beautiful gorilla, right? And yeah, it was just amazing to meet Makumba and his family. And yeah, there was one small baby, and yeah, the mom of the baby was breastfeeding it. Oh, it was, it was amazing, and then seeing Makumba climb up in the tree like that, oh, it was, yeah, it was a really, really good experience. And while we were at the gorillas, we could hear elephants uh, in the background. I don't think they were very close, but we could hear them really well. But we didn't encounter any 
on the trail, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> because first I naively thought, or oh, maybe there will be an elephant on the walking trail, until I realized, no, we are walking on the elephant trails. So yeah, there was plenty of evidence. We saw lots of footprints and dung and yeah, we could hear them, but maybe for the best that we did not encounter one on the trails. Anyway, we are back now in the camp. I think we're gonna have a lunch and then drive all the way back, which is quite far because we are really, really deep in the forest now. So Alaska is all clean. See how long that will last. See you later. But I am just going to ride to the next kind of bigger village, which is about 10, 12 kilometers from here, because there is a mechanic there. So I'm hoping that he can help me get the start button back. <laughs> So I can start Alaska a bit easier. Well, anyway, there's supposed to be a mechanic. His name is Hassan. So they said if I just ride to town and ask for Hassan, then people will direct me to where he, uh, where he lives. And then, uh, yeah, I have like a few like other small little things on Alaska that uh, maybe he can help me with. Some of my spokes are a little loose. Yeah, few few bits and pieces, <laughs> small things, but uh, I mainly want to have my start button back. I tried to also push it back, but I don't know, I couldn't get it. Maybe something is broken inside, I, I'm not sure, but it's worth uh, another shot, I think. Uh, the people that you uh, see here walking on the side of the road, they are, almost all of them are Baaka because the next town is a Baka village. Yeah. <laughs> and you see the, the women often walking around with these woven baskets on their back and they'll go out in the forest to collect uh, mushroom and plants and I'm not exactly sure all the things that they collect, vegetables. And uh, the men will go hunting, although the, the women are also involved in uh, some of the hunts. Hi. So they, they will also, you'll see some goats around, they'll keep like some goats, but like it's really in the, the Baka culture to, to live off the forest. So they're very much hunter gatherers still. See, you see there's some goats here, but not a lot. Cows you won't you won't see here because of uh, tetsi flies. You, you can't have cows here, but they probably wouldn't even want to keep cows. I'm not sure. Oof. The road has seen better days. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> they are super friendly here. So yeah, the Baka are uh, a pygmy tribe. So they're, they're only small people. I feel like an absolute giant uh, next to most of them. I'm probably like one head taller than the Baka men. And well, where I'm from, I'm quite short, so. Hi. So it's interesting to uh, to feel like such a big person compared to the Baka people here. But yeah, they, they go deep in the forest, eh? And uh, sorry, I'm keeping my legs up because <laughs> of the water. <laughs> they have to go deeper and deeper in the forest to find food or to find protein source because uh, yeah, there's, still, there's a lot of poaching going on and hunting of uh, animals by people that are not Baka. And uh, yeah, there's a high demand for bush meat in, in the biggest cities, for example. The capital of Central African Republic is Bang Bangui. Bangui. 
That's for example one place where uh, that bush means it ends up. But uh, that also means that uh, it becomes uh, increasingly hard for the Baka people to, to find enough food for themselves. But elephant also, uh, they come here also sometimes. I mean, there are no fences, so the Zangaba is only, um, how far would it be from here? Zangaba is probably 15 kilometers from here. It's not so far. <laughs> and so the elephants, uh, they don't care. I mean, if they want to come here, they'll come. Oh yeah, over here, this way. Bonjour! Uh, Hassan! Hassan? Hassan? Hassan, there are. Ah! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Bonjour! Messi. Ça va? Ça va? Ça va? Ça Et puis encore, il y a quoi encore C'est tout ça. Les fans, c'est quoi encore C'est déjà cassé. Ah, Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> Okay, merci beaucoup Hassan. <laughs> Au revoir. Right. Yes, I have a start button again. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is um, there is actually one little thing broken inside, which I was already a bit afraid of that that would be the case <laughs> so I don't know how long it's gonna it's gonna hold yeah I also tightened uh, the chain a little bit and uh, I oiled it again <laughs> I have to do that pretty much every day as well because of all the mud and then the rain and the water and everything hi hey You see me in moto? Ah, yesterday, yeah. Huh? It's big, eh? Morning. Morning, how are you? Fine. <laughs>
Sangaloch. Yeah, I stay in Sangaloch. I went to see Hassan to uh, mechanic. mechanic yeah, 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 to fix some. some us for moto. Yeah. Uh, okay. But now he fix it. Yeah. So he's, he's a good mechanic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this your house? This is my this house. This your house. Nice. Your children? Yeah, is he, this is, uh, is my family. This is your whole family. Nice to meet you, man. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Josh. Josh? Yes. Nice. For you. Norali. Norali. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to from Africa. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Many elephants. Yeah. Is here in the village. So elephant is coming here. This with nine, your elephant to come in this school. Last night, they were here. Elephant. Elephant, yes. You were afraid sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. How oh, nice to meet you. Right. I will go to Zanga Lodge. Okay. Okay. I stay here. Okay. Take care. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, there's such lovely people. A lot of the Baaka have uh, face facial tattoos as well. I don't know if you can uh, if you can see them on camera because they're very subtle. But it actually seems to be mostly the women that have uh, the facial tattoos. I don't actually think I saw a man with them. Bonjour, ça va? Ça va? Hi. <laughs> ça va? Bayanga? I went Bayanga. Uh, Hassan? Hassan, mechanic. Yes. Yeah. He fix now, good. Okay. Yeah. You go to Bayanga? Okay. You? No, 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 no. No. I go to uh, the factory. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Nice to see you. Bye bye. I believe these guys are uh, the eco guards. They are protecting the animals and uh, keep an eye out for poachers. These are the good guys. So I am back at the lodge and I just realized maybe I should actually take the map out and properly show you where I have been these last couple of days. So I am right here. Uh, Bayanga is actually indicated on the map. That's where ha Hassan fixed Alaska today. So that's over here. And then the night that I spent in the village was somewhere around here before Nola. And then we went up and then down. So that also means for the next video I'm going to cross back into Cameroon. And then I'll have to ride this stretch and then I can enter the Congo. Um, I think I'm going to have difficulty leaving this place. Uh, it's just been so amazing to be here. Of course, to see the elephants and the gorillas, but also to stay in this beautiful place and yeah, regain some of my strength. I've had amazing food here three times a day. <laughs> so yeah, it was really a good place to, uh, to rest up for the ne next leg of the journey. Um, so that was it for today. In the next video, I'm gonna leave this place and leave the Central African Republic already. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I will see you in the next video.